it's a running mecca. People might not know Colorado Springs or even Denver, but if you go to Kenya and you say Boulder, oh, they know Boulder. Yeah. If you go to Australia, they know Boulder. Even Eastern Europe, they know Boulder. So it's kind of its own anomaly in the running world, but everybody comes to train here, and, and it's a really tight-knit community. I took up trail running, and I fell in love with it. Going out and getting dirty, playing in the mountains. You know, you can basically run on a different trail for a month and not get bored. And that's the thing about Boulder. There's a lot going on here. Even though it's a running town, it's uh, active nightlife. That's a lot of what trail running is for me, is taking limits that I think I have and pushing past them and realizing that the only limit's really in my mind, not the mountain in front of me. It's funny being a girl from Nebraska, finding that I actually really love long hills. Cause like, you can just grind up a mountain and you're really hurting, but you look up and the views are amazing. I'm Amanda Lee, I'm a trail runner from Boulder, Colorado, and I specialize in distances from about 10K to half marathon. Chautauqua is a park in Boulder that's pretty much the starting point for any of the big adventures you'd want to go on here. You can go up Green Mountain, you can hit the Mesa Trail 10 miles down to Eldorado Springs. You can climb up the flat irons, and it's really popular. Hey, so we're here at Chautauqua Park, and we're about to meet up with a running group that you host. Yeah, yeah, tell me yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah, it's the Rocky Mountain Runners, based out of Boulder, Colorado. And we're about 40 strong. We meet every Monday at this park. We're gonna go run up this mountain over here, Green Mountain. Um, we do it every Monday. Rocky Mountain Runners is a social group of trail runners who just really enjoy what they do. They're probably the craziest group of people I know. We've got a Facebook group and they'll post on there and say, hey, does anybody want to hit up 30 miles with 10,000 feet of elevation gain this weekend? And they get about 20 responses from people who legitimately want to do that for fun. It's just been a very different and welcoming environment. They've helped encourage the crazy side I didn't know I had. And now I'm one of the people getting up at 5.30 in the morning to go run up mountains with them. <laughs> This is the Boulder Running Company in Boulder, Colorado, and uh, this store, which has been around for almost 20 years, uh, founded by Johnny Halberstadt and Mark Plachis, two world-class runners. Johnny was an NCAA champion in the early 70s, ran for Oklahoma State, and Mark Plachis was the 1993 marathon world champion. Anyway, let's give you a quick tour of the shop here. This is just our little kind of local call-out. And a real favorite of a lot of our locals is the trail area. And of course, it's because we have such an amazing place to run and train here at, at over a mile high. We have Chautauqua Park, which is a famous historic uh, landmark now for kind of a kickoff point for the famous Mesa Trail, Mount Sanitas over here. And these are just the trails that are basically in town in mountain trails. And then you can go up to the Continental Divide and even Rocky Mountain Park, which is only about 45 minutes away from here. It's a really a world-class runner's mecca. Boulder sounds like it has a pretty rich running history and actually starts 
kind of around the main running movement in the U.S. in the 60s and 70s. Yes, uh, let's walk right over here just a quick second. I want to show you somebody. This is Frank Shorter's bust, and of course he was the 72 Olympic gold medalist in Munich, Germany, and he was the silver medalist in Montreal in 76. And uh, he still lives here, and he came here uh, in the 70s to train at altitude. A lot of the athletes, knowing Frank and his success, were coming here to train with him. Wow, it, it's amazing to see in such a small town like Boulder, such a high concentration of, yeah. of talent and history too. Absolutely, it's really a wonderful place and, and it's just an inspiration because uh, it's the mountains, it's altitude, and it's the athletes and their support around here. So I'm uh, Brad Hudson and I'm the coach of Hudson Elite, which is a training group in town, and I coach athletes all over the country, but I do have a, a elite training group here. Just became a nonprofit. We are at the Walnut Cafe, which is a hot spot for athletes here in town, a post-workout. You see they have, uh, on the back wall, they have a bunch of athletes. And this morning, where were you guys training? We were at Davidson Mesa, which is just uh, up on the plateau and just an open space. It's about uh, 12K worth of uh, cinder trails. It's seen it. It's hard not to be inspired running out there. You know, it's great to have the mountains, but you do need some sort of flat places to do uh, sessions where you can get a feel for sea level type pace. You know, it's a little bit longer for one hour. So start intelligent, keep it a little bit. One of the things that Boulder has uh, that's so amazing is there's so many great trails to run on. There's a lot of open space. We don't have uh, the wood chip type trails, but we have a lot of dirt trails. So how long have you been living and coaching in Boulder? So I've been in Boulder for four years, but I was uh, living in Eugene for four years before that, and then I was in Boulder for 10 years before that, when I first started coaching. Uh, but I grew up in New Jersey, I competed at University of Oregon, but Boulder has the most diverse group of athletes from ultra marathoners, a lot of cyclists here, a lot of triathletes. So talk a little bit about the culture here. It's a college town, there's a lot going on here. Even though it's a running town, it's uh, active nightlife time. People float down the creek, they have like flood to work day or whatever. Yeah. How's that work? Yeah. Well, it goes through the center of town, I don't know how they get to work. Exactly. So are people like floating down in their seats? Yes. yes. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. So we've been up in the mountains yeah. for most of our time here, and we just now came down to Pearl Street. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this stretch downtown. I've seen hula hoopers, I've seen break dancers. I think, you know, it's the Boulder Eclectic you get to show off their wares, but from violin players to, yeah, hula hoopers and, you know, people who want to see something you haven't seen. And, you know, it's like any big city, people get to be who they are and make a little money doing it. We just finished the Pearl Street Mile. Yeah. The event has been around for 18 years. You know, all of our money raised goes to downtown Boulder and some other nonprofit agencies. Uh, talk a little bit about your running store, who puts it on. Um, we started Flatirons Running Inc. about over a year ago. So a local only Boulder store and something that could, that was part of the community that was integrated deeply with what was going on with running, uh, trail running, a mile running. What's your favorite trail to run around here? Um, of course, there's always uh, Chautauqua and Mesa Trail. That's a standard, if, you know, got to do the Mesa Trail. Hell, I like Sanitas, you know, right out back. You can see it from, you know, right over there. But you also have, you know, good restaurants to choose from, you meet your friends downtown. Do you have a favorite shop around here? My shop, but it's not a real <laughs> shop. Here. How about um, restaurant? Restaurant, um, I like Bobby's restaurant on Pearl, which is Frasca, and it is uh, Pizza Locale. That's my favorite. Yeah, pizza, carbs, that's always good. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't resist that, right? So after a long run, we should maybe go there. Oh yeah, I would. Nice. Good, it's good stuff. All right, let's go get pizza. Yeah. place to be in Boulder in the evenings or weekends is Pearl Street Mall and what's really great about it is that it's closed to cars so it's just for pedestrians there's tons of street performers and they're generally really good 
Um, there's a lot of great restaurants and breweries down that area too. So growing up in Nebraska, we don't really have trails. If you ask somebody for a trail there, they'll send you to a paved bike path or gravel. And here a lot of stuff's really rocky, so you have to adjust to the more technical nature of it. You have to learn to have quicker footwork and just be careful about where you're placing your foot. The trail we're running today is Mount Sinitas, which is a really popular hike and run in Boulder. And it's about a mile and a half up that climbs 1,600 feet. And any day you go there, it's flooded with people hiking and running. Runners come from around the world to attempt fastest known times on Sinitas. This is a list that's kept. It's really competitive. And just looking at the times that people hit around 17 minutes or so tells you just how challenging of a trail it is really rocky and it's got some of those big step ups too that can be challenging to navigate quickly. We sit at about 5400 feet here and my first few weeks here were really a struggle. Running uphill at altitude is a lot more challenging so you just have to be mindful of that and don't worry too much about pace when you first get here. And I've actually learned to enjoy downhills, even though they can be kind of scary. Cause you just have to accept that you don't have control over everything. Embrace the fact that you're probably going to fall at some point. But I get to go some really amazing places, like where we are now with trail running, that you don't get to see on a track or on the road. So from the summit itself, there's just a really great view of the whole city of Boulder. The views are worth the struggle to get there.